Honorable Member for St. John's North. Mr. Speaker, this government's supersized school board is not only unelected but inefficient as well. It's building schools that are too small, we know that. It's unable to resolve busing issues and inclusive education problems. And now we have the forced redesign of the school system in Mount Pearl. I ask the minister, when is he going to come down on the side of our children and provide quality education, including a proper planning process for our school system? Now the Minister of Education. Mr. Speaker, I can assure you one thing, and I can assure that member who continues to, to point out that if, if you had to listen for the member from St. John's North, Mr. Speaker, you'd have to think that we are about in the worst place in the world when it comes to education, Mr. Speaker. My commitment, first and foremost, our government's commitment, first and foremost, is always to children, Mr. Speaker. Always to children. <clears throat> Mr. Speaker, I won't have time to run through, down through this list, Mr. Speaker. We've had 13 new schools built. We've got nine new schools. Order, please. Order, please. Order, please. Order, please. Mr. Speaker. Order, please. Honourable Member for St. John's North. Mr. Speaker, a lack of resources for the Mount Pearl school system has backed the English school board into the corner. And even the planning process, as has been acknowledged by the member for Mount Pearl North, the Minister of Municipal Affairs, is flawed. I ask the minister, given the uproar from parents and from students, will you now revisit the decision not to intervene in the decision made by your appointed English School Board trustees? Now the Minister of Education. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, any time that I've encountered that there's been a school closing or a reconfiguration, there's always challenges that come with it, Mr. Speaker, and it's a very emotional thing because parents and students are attached to teachers and to a building, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, as I've said in this, this House, the school board have made their decision. What supports they need financially, they will put into us as the Department of Education and it will go into a budgetary process, Mr. Speaker. We haven't limited other areas when it comes to funds, nor will we do it in this particular case, Mr. Speaker.